Hello and welcome to 7 Days of Science. Coming up in the news this week, I talk about something really interesting. Ben talks about how short this episode of 7 Days of Science is. The relatively shortest. And I... Thanks, Doug. Also in the news this week is an interesting paper reviewing the theropod discoveries that have been made at an Upper Cretaceous site in northern Spain called Lanyo. Looking at specimens of teeth from this locality, the researchers record two medium or large sized theropods, four small bodied theropods, and a large terrestrial bird, the Avialin gargantuavis. This therefore makes the area the most diverse and richest late Cretaceous aged theropod site in Europe, adding more evidence to the idea of several theropod dispersal events occurring in the Cretaceous with the region having a mixture of endemic European forms as well as dinosaurs from Asia, America and Gondwana. And finally, we have a study that was actually published a couple of weeks ago but is very interesting, wherein paleontologists have investigated the brain case of the nodosaurid ankylosaur Struthiosaurus. Based on micro-CT scans, they found further support for specialised thermoregulatory adaptations in ankylosaurs in the form of a network of vascular canals around the brain cavity. In addition to more support for the orientation of a structure known as the lateral semicircular canal, being able to be used as an indication of habitual head posture in extinct tetrapods. But not only that, the study also revealed that this nodosaur had the relatively shortest cochlear duct known from any dinosaur, which, combined with other evidence, seems to suggest that nodosaurids had a fairly inert lifestyle and were not able to hear particularly well, having no need for this sense to be well developed due to their apparent inactive and solitary lives. It's a very interesting discovery with some fascinating implications for the behaviour of nodosaurs, which seem to have differed in more ways than we realised from their ankylosaurid relatives. Back to Doug in the studio. Thank you, Ben. Well, that's all from us this week. I do hope you enjoyed the deluge of fascinating stories we had for this week, and we'll see you on Sunday.